Does medical massage help breathing? My name is Dr. Ross Trucininov. I'm founder of Science of Massage Institute located in Phoenix, Arizona. In this short video, we will discuss impact of medical massage on the patient breathing. You are perfectly familiar that there is uh, such a variety of pulmonary abnormalities called COPD. The patients suffer from bronchial asthma, emphysema, chronic bronchitis, they recover after pneumonia. All of those abnormalities severely affect their breathing sometimes already after pneumonia. They recover from pneumonia or from chronic bronchitis. One of the major consequences of that is decrease of oxygenation level. When the oxygenation level drops, then the brain, which needs oxygen for the performance, the only solution for the brain in such case is to increase heart contraction and increase blood pressure. So one of the consequences of insufficient breathing is essential hypertension. So right now two systems, which is cardiac and pulmonary, start to suffer together. And now it's not high blood pressure the problem, it's insufficient oxygenation of the blood is the problem. And that's what medical massage can help with. If you want to decisively help patient in complex clinical cases, greatly increase your income and partner with local medical community, please click right now at the link below in description and join us for live medical massage seminars and webinars and we will work together. Thank you and see you in the future. A respiratory system is only one system of our body of inner organs which heavily relies on normal function of the somatic tissue and somatic structure, which is uh, thoracic cage, ribs, intercostal muscles, primary and secondary muscle of respiration. So these muscles, every time they expand our chest and they collapse our chest, we using them during exercise, during crying, during stress situations. So entire Pulmonary function severely rely on normal function of somatic structure, which is your skin, your skeletal muscle, your fascia, your ribs, your periosteum of the vertebrae. So all this tissue, they are engine of pulmonary system. If the engine fails, then respiration fails. If respiration fails, then it increases your blood pressure. So all these events link as a chain and the role of medical massage in decompressing primary and secondary muscle of respiration. Primary muscle of respiration we use every time when we inhale air during resting hours. As soon as you run or you do physical activity, then the amount of oxygen needs to be dramatically increased and then you add contraction of accessory muscle of respirations, which now we use to additionally uh, maintain ventilation in the lungs. So decompression and reducing tension in those muscles which overworking in patients who have pulmonary disorders, that's what medical massage specifically designed to do because decompression of the soft tissue component, elongation of the respiratory muscles, freeing respiratory muscle from the compression by the fascia, all of that dramatically increase oxygenation of the blood and that is first critical step which allows to reset other system, systems and the function. We had patient with chronic emphysema and his uh, oxygen level dramatically dropped which uh, worried his pulmonologist. What you see on the video is original movement of his chest during inhalation and in the second part of the video you see now dramatic improvement in the expansion of the chest during patient inhalation. All of that was accompanied by oxygenation level in the patient blood and that was registered by the oximometer which your result we you see on your screen. Dramatic increase in the level of the oxygen in the patient blood after successful medical massage session. So from that point of view, medical massage is not just helping the breathing, it's key element to reset 
pulmonary system, because without proper function of somatic engine of the respiration, nothing will happen in the lungs themselves. And that's where gas exchange happens. From that point of view, resetting uh, soft tissue component allows you to normalize patient ventilation, and that's bottom line. From that point of view, I would like you to clearly understand importance and irreplaceable role medical massage plays in the recovery of patient or uh, with uh, pulmonary abnormalities or in maintaining health of the patient who suffer from the chronic uh, COPD. What do you think about pulmonary function and uh, somatic structures which are responsible for the pulmonary function maintenance? If you have any of your personal experiences, you have maybe members of the family who suffer from COPD and you already work on them. Share with the other therapists your experience and uh, we will learn from each other. Thank you for watching. Let's stay together and practice medical massage for the, our patient benefits. Thank you for watching and we will see each other in the next video.